Hi, uh, welcome, in the, welcome to the third in the series on diamond fist techniques. Um, we're going to be doing a few more combinations today, um, but just one point before we do it. Um, years and years ago, um, uh, I heard a, um, a kung fu master uh, say that you know one of the mistakes that you often see in karate and taekwondo is where they do a high block with the front arm like this. And what this does is it exposes the armpit, which is obviously you know, a huge nerve center. If you poke a child in the ribs, just from a poke, they'll jump out of their socks, right? So, you know, that a punch there or some, a, quite a hard strike there is quite devastating, and the arm goes numb. So, in Kung Fu, the, his, his logic was saying that in Kung Fu, they'd never expose the armpit like that. So they always tended to block with the back hand when they're doing high blocks, yeah? And then the front hand would be from this level down. They'd never raise the, the front hand above this level makes a lot of sense and these diamond fist techniques are usually taken from the Chinese side uh, of the martial arts there's quite a heavy Chinese influence in, in Taekwondo okay so again uh, we're going to do a few more of these combinations so from this position here uh, we've got our, um, our our diamond punch position here then we're going to go into our hammer fist here and then our back fit and then our back fist okay so we're doing punch hammer fist back fist okay so on my counter so ready for one Sorry, we'll do that again. So, punch, hammer fist, back fist again. So, one, punch, hammer fist, back fist. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. The second combination I'm going to show you is from here. We're going to do the hammer fist, back fist, and punch. So we're doing hammer fist, back fist, and punch. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then the last combination for today, we're going to do the back fist, the punch, and then the hammer fist. So we're going to roll that down to the hammer fist. So we do back fist, punch, and then hammer fist. Okay? So again, so one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. Okay, so practice those three combinations. Again, this works really, really well against a right, uh, because obviously I'm using my left hand to defend, and I've got my right side, my strong side forward, so I can, once they've thrown that right punch, I'm defending with this side, and their center line is wide open to the three different striking positions, okay? And uh, the ability then to switch between those positions is paramount in this. Okay, so good luck practicing that. Oh, also very, very important, when you are blocking, when you block, grab hold of their wrist, okay? This is real important, okay? Don't just assume that the person is going to stand there being hit. You've got to hold on to them and pull them into the techniques to stop them defending themselves with that right hand, okay? Excellent. Practice that.